Right, I'm just going to film the intro and outro for our video. Probably you're going to be well behaved, aren't you, Pops? She's quite excited to be back in the van, actually, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> you so, sit there quietly. Yeah, don't so, yawning. And don't start yawning. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trouble with talking to her. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is I've got the GoPro 8 on its Ulanzi uh, stand. And I'm using the lapel mics, these great big long mics that I showed you earlier. And uh, we're going to talk to the camera, aren't you? Yes. You better put, remember to put your mic on. Yeah. Because you won't be talking to anyone. No, that's it. Right, we've um, we've put together all our clips now. So we've got the, uh, the clips uh, for the photos from 2013 through to 2016 got the bits of video we've taken from previous Easter's which we've assembled into a, a timeline now so if you can just make that timeline a bit smaller so you can see all of it that's it so that's all the clips to put in together put some titles on it as well Do you see where the um, purple Please. things are if you double yeah. if you double click on the one of the purple things right so just to explain sometimes when you film you don't always say where you are or what you're up to or what time it is or those sort of important things so you can actually drop in a title and the titles are just over there it's that, isn't it? that yeah and I uh, on all of these I always use the um, go to the top where it says show all yeah click that and I go down to frequently used because I only use one type of title and that's just the plain title which I then drop in and uh, and edit how I want it, how I want it to look. Edit the font, do you, and the uh, colour? That's and, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean if you want to just try putting a, a title in there, we'll take it out. I don't need any more titles but just let's show people how I do it. So just dr click and drag it into the place where you want it above the, the video timeline. Say so you wanted it there. Yeah. So it says add text. So if you double click where it says add text, you can you can now edit the words. Do I just say? Yeah. So just add poppy. Yeah, I mean, it's still got add, yeah. add in there. But no, if you highlight, that. well, you can leave it. I'm going to say leave it all in. Yeah. All right. Uh, and the highlight it, it all. Uh, and then. You have to ch well. I have to change it to size 100 because otherwise it just seems way too big to me. So I highlight that and change it to 100. Yeah. Okay, that. Just enter that. Just yeah. press enter. It's done it. Oh, it's done. Ch it's changed okay. it. No, all right. Okay. Just it's white on grey. You can't. So you can't see it. No. Yeah. Can you just close this rendering box? I started rendering. I don't know. And then I change the style. So if you go to the style button, so it's a bit like Word and. Yeah. So you've got like style boxes, and I always use that style there, the golden one, hobo, I think it's called. Yeah, and it, that stands out now, doesn't that? And now I found that the gold yeah. always stands out against the background, no matter what background. I was often sort of putting in black text where it goes on a white background, and white text went on, the, and it just gets confusing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so if you just highlight that, we don't we don't need that in there, for instance. Just highlight it. Well, sorry, just double click it on it on the title itself. Yeah, just press delete and I'll go. You sure I'm on it? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah, you're on it. That's. I don't think you pressed delete there. I did, you? yeah. I don't know what it deleted. <laughs> so it didn't delete any of your footage? No, it didn't delete any of the footage. I just don't know why that won't go. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, okay. I don't know why. It delete it wouldn't delete key wouldn't delete. work. No, no. Right. okay. Windows update. Yeah. Right, okay. So so you like I say, we've put all our clips together. So now what I need to do is I need to add the intro, me introducing it, and the outro, me saying give us a thumbs up and all that sort of thing. Right. So we filmed a little bit um a couple of days a couple of days ago. Uh and if you go into the fold at the bottom hopefully uh, and and go to Easter's past. It's in there in video, and it's the, where I said it. I've, I've renamed it, so it says Easter. I'm going to cough. <coughs> Easter intro outro. This. Yeah. So that contains the the intro and the outro. So right. so if you just highlight that, 
and we're going to drop it onto our timeline. So do you remember how we did that? I'll make this smaller. Yeah. And I'll move it out the way. So yeah. where am I putting this at the front? Well, I think it'd be better if I actually put it at the back for now, and I'll explain in a minute. So if you just drop it at the back, some in some space at the back, on the normal video one timeline. About here? Yeah. Like right. I said, I've got the intro and outro, so I want to actually take the intro and move it to the front of the video. So can we? Right. Do, can you do that? Can you figure out how to do that? Um, so I'll close this because I don't. Need yeah, you this don't need that anymore. anymore. No. If I make it bigger, let's see. Well, you don't really need it that much bigger. No, it's gone over there now. Yeah, no, that's why I say don't make it <laughs> bigger. Oh. Other way. That's it. Right. right, so how do I find out which is which? which? Is a bit. Well, a clue is often, you see the, the, um, the, the um, what's it called, the voice. The voice, yeah, yeah. You see the voice. You see where the voice starts. So if you click above in the timeline bar, above there somewhere, and you'll see when you play it, just play it. We had Poppy at that stage, yeah, and she wouldn't, she wouldn't, sit, wouldn't sit still. Could you have done a clap? Yeah. I have, I have to do a beep. If I do a clap, Poppy gets all worried. Start again. Start again. Take four million. Take four million. Right, so welcome to this Right, so just stop it there. Right, I now need to get back to the bit just before I said right. <laughs> Well, you could do it that way, and that'd be a frame at a time. And bear in mind, there's 25 frames every second. Right. You might okay. be there for a while, so you need to drag that. Do you see where the 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 voice starts? Up keep, there. keep going a bit, bit more. Stop. Oops. Right. Stop there. Right. Now you you have to play it forward again now. Right. So welcome to this. No. Uh, so it's not there. Video. So stop it. And you you need to go before. And, it's very difficult to show and explain. I need to go just just about there. I'm just about to open me. There. There, right, okay. Yeah? Yeah, so... So now you do the scissor. The scissor, which is there. Yeah. And I just want to get rid of the bit at the front. So I highlight that. Yeah. Don't I? And then delete that. And delete. Well, the delete worked this time. Now go to the front of the footage again. Just make sure that makes sense. Let's just play that. Right, so welcome to this uh, yeah, so that works. video. So yadda yadda yadda, we're uh, talking reasons, and we want to get to the end of the so intro. Look back at what we did every other Easter since 2013. So you drag it forward. Yeah. Did we rub it on for a while? We did rub it on for a bit. Right, so it seemed to have stopped there. I think that's where we decided to, to pause. So right. play it, play it forward. So we're thinking about it. So I think you can cut it about there. Yeah. Yeah. So that must be the end of the. Must yeah. have been before. Well, that. I would, I would get just come bring, bring it back. So keep going back a little bit more until we look like we've finished. Right. Let's just play it forward now. On the Scottish English border. Yeah. And last year we went to Hawes in Yorkshire. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? I think that's get right. Get ready to yeah. stop yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So let's have a look. That's it. Brilliant. Now you can cut that. Right. So cut which bit though? Well, you just got to cut it first. That's it. You cut it. Right. Now let's have the timeline so we can see everything here. Make it that. No, I want to see everything. So you make it smaller. Right. Okay. And what you want to do is drop the first bit, the intro part, in front of the whole of the, the video. <laughs> do you want to do it? Do you want you, to you do, do it? Well, first I thing I'd say is I'd save it. Just yeah. save it at this yeah, point. Cause... All I'm going to do is click and drag that over there and let go. All right. Yeah. So now at the... And you just want to check. And last year we went to Hawes in Yorkshire. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? I think that's right. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's have a look. Right. So this is 
Okay. Right. So yeah. now we've got an outro there. So if you want to just delete that gap in there, you right click, delete and close gap, and just play the end of the video into the outro. So where's my thing gone? Well, don't, you don't need to look for it. You just need to click in the bar. Right. No, no, no. You just need to click there. There. Yeah, and it brings the indicator. Yeah, so forward. that's about the end of that's it. pause, isn't it? Yeah. So now it should. Yeah. It's a fabulous little view, and well, Michael's like it a lot, doesn't he? You know, it's playing with the drone. Yeah. Now you'll need to edit the so bit we're where. We're going to do the outro bit now, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Stop. Right. So, so now you do a cut. And at this level, it's quite difficult to see what you're doing, so make it bigger again. Okay, so you've cut that little bit there. So you take that bit out and just delete it. Okay, and you see where the voice starts? Yeah. Now just bring your timeline back there. Just see what it sounds like now. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. So you could actually just um, look back. cut That's it to previous. that voice. Yeah, so that will come so bring it back. Now, yeah, so bring it back just before the voice. Just there. Just a bit more. More. Yeah, you want about a couple of frames as before. You don't want to go straight into a voice. No, no, okay. So click, uh, clip that and take the bit before out. That's it. So if just play just before, just after the drone bit. Just you have to be in the drone bit. That's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's a little look back at some of our previous adventures. Uh, we're hoping, obviously, that uh, we get out yeah. of this okay. crisis as right. soon as possible, so we can get out there. So there's again a and load of meat waffle. I don't know how much of the waffle I'll use. Us, let us know what you're doing this Easter. Um, don't play the whole end of it because no. it <laughs> spoil the ending, wouldn't it? Really, <laughs> riveting stuff. Isn't it? It's all riveting stuff. Although what I would do is just go to the end here. Uh, <laughs> have a great time, yeah. and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah. So I can stop it there. So if you click the end off, right, get rid of that. Now I've got I've got some footage I always use for my endings. So if you go to add media at the top left. Could I save this? You could please? save it, yeah. Add media. And go files and folders. And I normally leave it in the videos folder. And it's a little bit further down and it's called end credits. And it's the same bit I always use. Now if you just click that and go open. It's put me end credits in the uh, the project assets media. Now I can either it's just black, it's just text on black. What I have been doing is I have been putting it over what where we've been talking at the end. So you can do that if you want. So if you just want to drop it above the the video one timeline, you yeah, have. That's it. Keep, that's it. Stop. Fire. Let go. You, you let go. That's it. Now, if you just play that, now go go to there. Just just go to there, and you just play that. What happens if you drop a video over the top of another video? It overwrites the video. So in this case, I actually want to see the video underneath as well. So what I do is I put an effect on here that's called chroma key. So if you go to the effects panel, which is the FX. And you look at my regularly used one, so go to show all and change it to frequently used rather, which is right down the bottom. You'll see there's a chroma key effect there. Oh, well, what you yeah. do is you drop the effect onto the bit that you want to uh, change, which in this case is the titles bit. So I you just drag and drop it onto on there, there, let go. And that's a chroma key, and it allows oh. the video underneath to show through. 
clever, isn't it? So when you play this, what it look is is us still talking. What you're doing for Easter? I'm interested to, to know how you're getting on. Um, whatever you're doing, stay safe. Um, two meters and all that. And it plays yeah. that, and of course the the sound absolutely dominates. The, the voice so I want to hear the, the sound now so I now to ch need to change the the sound on that on the dum da da dum dum bit what to make it to make it quieter, quieter right. yeah I could turn the voice up obviously but it's easy in this case to turn the sound up so there's in tools there's an audio mixer and this is where you can change all the levels of all the soundtracks that you've yeah, got got right. there now I want if you look across I want audio 2 yeah audio 2 is over here and you click in the tiny little box here that you can hardly read that says audio 3 oh is it audio 3 I can't even read it says audio 2 so, it's so, audio 2 according to yeah, that no that's right I clicked in the wrong box so if you go to audio 2 box yeah just click in the box there that's it it is really fiddly and then you've put minus what should we say minus 12 it's a bit of a guess sometimes and then you just have to see what it sounds like now just play the video play the video yeah good Easter uh, thanks for watching if you like what you see give us a thumbs up remember to subscribe if you, you haven't can't already hear it at all. hit the notification <laughs> icon do all of that what have I done? <laughs> don't know have a great time Tiffany's audio too isn't yeah, it yeah 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 okay happy Easter happy Easter that's bizarre, isn't it? Uh, let's change that. I've changed it to minus 12 million or something. I don't know. Just try it again. Minus 12. Oh, remember to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where where the sound's gone then? Um, oh, I, it's muted. That's why. It's muted. Right. You see the trouble with this screen being so small is sometimes you can't see that the audio was muted there. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a listen anyway, see what it sounds like. It might still be a bit loud. Happy Easter. So I'm, I would check. Right, so welcome to this uh, little Easter. If you leave it playing, it goes right back to the beginning. Which is really confusing if it's yeah. a similar looking scene. You know? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I think we'll have it on minus 15. Like I say, sometimes there's a guess. It depends how loud the um, the underlying track is. In this case, you just want to hint that this is the end of the video. So, happy Easter. <laughs> so, make it a bit smaller so we can see all of the video see your bar there yeah i'm just going to drag that to the end so we know which is the bit of the video now what we haven't got of course is my famous thumbnail at the front no i realize that so what we now need to do is uh, is figure out what we're going to put as a thumbnail what picture right. or something are we going to use so there might be a long pause now <laughs> whilst we have a think. this is a really creative bit isn't it yeah while we think what to do with a thumbnail. Yeah. So shall I save this? Save this, yeah. And shall I carry on recording this? Or? Yeah, yeah, might as well carry on recording. I'll, you, I'll... So what I sometimes do for a thumbnail where it's a talkie is just use us talking and looking, trying to hopefully pick a bit where we look happy. Yeah. So you could, I could just go along here until I look like we're enjoying ourselves. Which might be difficult. I'll have that one. <laughs> so you could, you've got your eyes closed there, haven't you? So there. So that we could just use that. Couple of happy faces. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if I hadn't thought about actually taking a picture for the thumbnail, this is what I would normally do. Right. I, I mean, mean, it's difficult when it's a lot of talking and you're not somewhere. It's obvious, isn't it? If you're somewhere, yeah. What the thumbnail is. That's right. So I just, I think I'm just going to go with this thumbnail for now. So what I do is tools, freeze frame, and this allows us to use that picture 
uh, uh, and create it as a, as a as a JPEG in this case. So I click export. I can you can export what they call candid photos, and it will look for 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 um, faces as a long-winded blooming thing that this does, and I hardly ever use it. But you can export. Or you can actually insert it in the movie, and I can, you can use that for freeze frames. You know where I do that pan and zoom effect? Pan and zoom thing, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm just going to export it, and I normally put it in my documents so I know where it is. And I might use other bits of thumbnail here, but I'm, I'm just going to go with this one for now. Easter's past, I'll just give it a number so I know what it's called. It, it exports it with the same name as the project. Right. Okay. So next step is actually to turn that into a thumbnail. And you know I use this thing called Canva. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now Canva is an online uh, graphics editing program. And I'm still using the free version. There's a paid for version, which uh, does a lot more. But uh, this works really well for me because it's just it's a very simple way of creating thumbnails. You can do all sorts of designs with it. Yeah, but you obviously have to have the paid. Yeah, for that. yeah. I'll I'll leave links for all these the things in the description below. If you look under the under the video, you'll see that uh, there'll be some dis uh, some links for this, and I'll leave the link for te for Canva so you can have a play with it because it, it gives you um, templates. They call it. And there, there are all sorts of things here that you can use, and you can you can change. And it's categories, Instagram posts, uh, flyers, I think YouTube. There we are. You you'll see some of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other people are using mm. similar thumbnails. Yeah. I used a very simple one, and I don't think it's on here anymore. And if I look at all my designs, these are some of the thumbnails I've used previously. It's just a very simple sort of flash across the bottom and some words with different colored text yes now because this is a um, what is it uh, it's a retrospective look back thing yeah what color do you want it um. I mean if I double click on these uh, these are all the sort of the templates I've used before I could just use the colors I've already used these are ones I've done previously Tended to use the blue, haven't we? Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. We. Yeah, that's right. There's quite a few there. Aren't yeah, there? just a few. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> right. Press escape when in doubt. Yeah. So there's a lot of blue ones there. See how many I've created there. Um, and it, it, it's you tend to use yellow for products. Don't you? Yeah, for product reviews. Yeah. Uh, I quite like the blue. It's it's just, it is a quite a nice colour. What you have that then? Yeah. So what I, if you're happy with that? What I would do is I'll just copy that in copy page, and then you can edit the photos that we've used in there. Take those out. Take those out. So you can change the words. Do you want to stick the words in there? So what what should we have? Something like a look back at Easter's past, doesn't it? If that will fit in there. Do it in capitals. It's, a, it's like a title, not all caps. I mean, first letter. First letter capitalized. First letter capitalized. Sorry. First letter capitalized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I look back at C Carlisle Cathedral. So what it's all in caps. Well, it does it. All, this bit or does it automatically in caps anyway? Because that's set in the template. Is that all right? Yeah, that's it. Right. So. Okay. I want to just click somewhere there. Now, what we need to do is upload that photo that I did earlier. So we go to uploads, and these are some of the images I uploaded previously. And I go upload an image. I remember that I put it in documents. There it is. Open that. And wait, just wait for it to upload. There it is. And then you just click it, and there it is. You can now make it 
bigger. Perhaps get the seatbelt out of it. Um, put it over there. Now it's or it's it's over the top of the um, uh, words. The words, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and then what what you need to do then is you need to edit that so it goes to the back. So if you click on it, you've got a position button here, and you hit to back. That's it. Wonderful. Oh, there's that's looking wonderful. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. So give it a name up here. You give it a name. Easter's. Easter's past or something. Oh. Okay. And the up there is the like the download title as well. So just give that a name as well, so we know what it is. That was the last. It's only so I know what was the last thing I downloaded. Now you can hit download, and we don't want to download page five. So down to the bottom where it says all pages, and then just go through. These are the previous thumbnails I've used. So it's that one. So it's that one, and then go done and download. And it sticks it in the download folder. Great, so this is a PNG file. And there's the link that I'm going to use uh, so I can refer friends and get free premium photos. All right. So I'll, I'll, if you can just copy that for us, because I might want to use that in when I yeah hit the copy. Oh, sorry, no, yeah. That. Put it in Notepad for now. Just stick it in a Notepad. You'll have to. I just type Notepad. And then just paste it in there. I'll come back to this notepad because I'll, I'll use that a little bit later. So you just minimise that. Yeah, just minimise that. Yeah, and just close this window. I just, I, it's just I needed that link. Right, so it's downloaded into the downloads folder. So if you go back to our project, okay. I now need to. Uh, I, yeah, I think you're probably you're probably all right there. I now need to drop it right at the front of the project. Oh, you. No, no, you can do this. Come on, you can do this. Like you don't like doing things like that. So go into here, into downloads. There it is. Just move it over. So it's a ping, is that all It's right? a PNG file, yeah. yeah. Yeah, a portable something graphics thing. Yeah. So you click and drag it, and then you just want to get right to the front of that and let go. And there it is. See, it's tiny because it's only going to be. I think we set it to nine seconds, don't we? I think. Yeah. I don't, I see how long that is. So, one, two, three, four. I normally leave it on four seconds. So it's probably enough. Let's leave it on five. Maybe about there. Just count that bit. Just that we we changed the settings for the photos to nine seconds. seconds so it's put yeah, it's a little bit nine. too long, nine seconds. Yeah. Now can we put some music on that? Um. So over to the musics, um, musics, the music symbol thing. Again, frequently used. And it, I, the one I use is called Flux. And you drag that to the music uh, timeline. Right to the front, right to the front. Just make sure you're on music, not voice. You're down a bit, go down a bit. Yeah, that'll do. That's it. And it makes it massive. And it, yeah, it makes it is. You get the whole like three minutes of the flux. And, and you only want. And you only want a little bit. So just go uh, done to this. And make it so we can see where where this this great big long music track finishes. I just want to see where it finishes. Now just want to see where it finishes. Back right there. Now drag it to make it smaller. That's it. There you go. Okay. Now if you go into go to right to the bit very beginning and play it, it'll be really loud. Right. And when I 
don't want to turn it down. <laughs> Surely not. Right. <laughs> so just go to there. Again, up to the tools. You do it for us. Um, what don't I do it over here? Wait, well, you, no, no, you, no. You could. Uh, you do, well, you you can do it over there actually. But just go to tools. I always go to tools. Audio mixer. So, right. And we're on the music track. So can you see the music? Yeah. Yeah. And in the box, I put it a minus six. Only minus six. Yeah, that seems to work. Some music is a lot louder than others, and for some reason, this isn't that loud. Six. If you play it now. Just, just play there. it, yeah. That's a bit better. Yeah. Right, so welcome to this uh, little okay. Easter video. Yeah. So we're getting there, we're nearly oh, yeah. done. For obvious reasons, we're not going away this Easter. Okay, so just stop us there. So we don't want to look back at what we did every... We'll get a bit bored with that. Can I say what I think yeah. we have to do, apart from save this in a yeah. minute? Yeah, yeah. Transitions for the bits that we've added. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, because we've put transitions in between the other bits of video. Yeah. That we'd edited previously, but we haven't put transitions in between the thumbnail, the intro, and the outros. So, do you want to do that? Do you remember how to do that? Um, let's save it first. Save it, yeah. Right. I have to find somewhere to well, drop well, one. You want to close these boxes for a start, get these out of the way. How am I closing them? Up there. Oh, I couldn't see it. And you just click on the project assets bit there, just get rid of that. That's it. And right. now, I need to make one big enough so I know what I'm doing. No, so you need to go to the quick. To the quick, that's right. That's it. And you just drop a transition in there somewhere. And into there. Yeah. So transitions was yeah. that. Yeah. And you the could, one you the one I use is the cross, cross dissolve, dissolve which it's highlighted. Yeah. So you just drag it onto one of those. Yeah. You can go apply to all. The only problem with apply to all is it actually puts the transition at the beginning, which you don't need. So you just highlight that and get rid of that, and a transition at the end. So I just normally just take those out, just get rid of them. Go back to your expert mode. Make sure you've got your bars there in the right place. Okay, they're not quite in the right place there. That just gets it to the end right. and now export and share it. Should I save it first? You could save it first and export and share. Right, so, so devices. devices. Yeah, it's called Easter's Pass, so that's fine because that just takes the name of the project. I was thinking about it. It moment. takes a little while to get itself sorted and it gives you all the information. So, this is going to be a one point. What's that say? 1.93 gigabyte file. Uh, it's 17 minutes long, and uh, various other things. So it, it, this sometimes for me is where you you stop and think, well, oh, is this like too long or is this too short or yeah. whatever? But yeah. I think for a, uh, just a quick look back at Easter's, this is probably about the right length. So 20, yeah. 20 minutes seems to be sort of a good length really for yeah yeah for videos like this. So you just go save now. So don't have to. That you don't, don't actually need that. to do that only if you're taking bits so bits of it so I'm yeah. doing the whole lot yeah. so I'm saving it as that and is that saving it in the right place and it's saving it in the Easter's past folder so that's fine it's fine okay yeah. Go so save. save yeah obviously we won't show you the whole of this um, going through but what I would say now is that it would be a good time once we've created this file then we'll sit down and we'll go through it and I normally get Jenny to, to watch it just to make sure there's no huge well you better watch it because I've done a lot of the yeah editing so for a change you better watch it yeah so I'll, I'll, I'll watch it through yeah and then if we need to make changes I'll make some more changes uh, and then we'll re-export it again and then the next bit of the video will show you is is us uploading it to YouTube to YouTube we'll show you how we do that how do you feel so far? Well, how many days is it? it I mean, it, this is a complicated video. It's a very complicated we've had video. To do research to find things to go in. Yeah, it. yeah. Um, we've had to make those videos of the photos. We've yeah. had to make the videos of the the yeah. actual video that we yeah. found. Yeah. We've had to go in the van and make an intro and an outro. Yeah. 
and then we've had to put all this together. So we've been doing this over like four or five days. Yeah, now, yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, normally if you go somewhere, you film while you're out, don't you? And then yeah, you and come I'm, back with the footage. And I just drop the footage then on the timeline. Yeah, but uh, this and do the editing. This we're going back in our memories as well to remember exactly what we did at Easter. What were the highlights yeah. we felt from yeah. it? Yeah, because obviously we made quite a few videos, didn't yeah. we? Especially 2017. Yeah, we didn't want to put all of the video in there. No, no. It would no. <laughs> no. So it made me appreciate just how you have to concentrate to do these videos. Yeah, yeah. That you can easily get distracted and you think, yeah. did I do that? Um, the fact that the screen is small is doesn't help sometimes, no. does it? Because the writer is so tiny. Yeah, I mean, like I say, the, the screen was designed for a massive... Uh, 30 inch screen or something you know? yeah so I'm doing it all on a little laptop so yeah and I'm doing it on a laptop because I can edit it where whilst we're on the road so it's you know yeah swings yeah. around about that's right yeah but it, it has really made me appreciate just exactly what's involved and you could get to this end bit and realize you've forgotten the thumbnail well yeah I've done that before yeah yeah or if you you missed a vital bit out or you got it in yeah. the wrong sometimes you get it in the wrong order as well yeah yeah and the video makes no sense yeah yeah, so no, I I really do appreciate what's involved now. Yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll just stop it here and we'll come back when we're, we're exporting it. Don't need to stop it, actually stop it, you know. No, no, I'm out of <laughs> stopping re it recording that we're... Yeah. We're recording it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you mean. Yeah. We'll, we'll catch up with them in a minute. Tell us, let us know what you're doing this Easter. Um, interesting to, to know how you're, you're coping and how you're getting on with everything. Difficult times. But uh, hopefully, like I say, we'll soon be over this crisis and we'll look back at it and think, what was on the way? What's on the way? No, I forgot you. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't go waffle on too much. No, no.